Okay, I just recently discovered this. I'm still excited about it. But either way, we gotta take a deer's back strap out like normal anyways. And what we discovered here the day was when you look up into here, uh, on a fat deer, it can't be a lean deer, but um, that is pretty much bacon. Um, long story short. So I'm gonna show you how to cut it off and some other places you can get some more. And then we're also gonna cook this. So stay tuned for that. But anyway, you also get a piece here. We've been just, sometimes you leave some of his belly meat on and it's good and fat too. You can come through there and, you know, cut bacon this way. And that actually looks better than this. But either way, I ain't got none of that right now. And I've only got two deer left and season's over. Like I'm fixing to be done cutting deer for all the year. But anyways, so let's just get in with that, I suppose. <laughs> Look you there. And then all you do is you just keep keep your angle flat and just keep coming up around this rib cage here. Cutting them as thin as you feel like cutting them. If it's a lot, great. If it ain't much, oh well. Make sure you're hitting that rib and skating off that rib. There's another piece. Looking pretty good. And eventually you start hitting the ribs up here pretty tall. And it starts flattening out and looking a little weird. And that's, you just cut it however far you think you can get some. Just like so. And that's about as far as I'm gonna push it. So. Might not look like much right now, but I'm telling you, that is some pretty good tasting stuff. So, let's get on to the seasoning part. Alrighty, and that is the trade secret right there. Um, whatever you <laughs> reconstructed, bacon seasoning, whatever, anyways, you get the idea. So, <clears throat> normally they take that and mix it with ground up deer burger, put it in a pan, kind of like this, and smoke it. Then they take that whole block out and slice it into pieces. That's what reconstructed bacon is. It ain't real bacon. This is actual bacon. This is this is not ground up. This is an actual piece of it sliced. So this stuff is extremely salty. And I mean extremely salty. Most this season's 25 pounds of meat. This packet does. And uh, normally there's you know 14 to 18 or so ounces of seasoning that goes into that 25 pounds. There's only 12 in this. That's how potent this is so a dab will do you don't take much so i'll we'll start laying these down here if they don't fit this way we're going to turn them the other way <laughs> anyways hopefully i'll get the idea and you literally just want to sprinkle i mean ever so slightly just a dead gum dab And I'm trying to do this with one hand, but you get the idea here. You're just going to rub it back and forth to make sure it coats the whole thing. I mean, a dab will absolutely do you now. It'll be a lot easier with two hands. I've heard that before. So anyways, anyways. Enough of y'all being perverted. Let's get back on to handling other men's meat for a living. Now, <clears throat> make sure you coat the whole thing. Get one side, turn it over, do the other side. And this is actually gonna change color. It's actually gonna look like it's some already cured smoked stuff, even though it ain't. And once again, a dab will do you. This will soak right into that, right into the meat, so it don't take a whole lot. And then rub it in, rub it in. If you see a color difference, that's a good sign. Okay, and I'm just going by feel. There's no exact science to this. Don't take a whole bunch of them and put it in a bag and start mixing them together because it's going to turn bad on you. 
That might could use a touch more. Alrighty. And I didn't even use all that seasoning. That was what, maybe a half a tablespoon, something like that, and that still was way too much. That was more or less just for looks. But either way, we're gonna smoke that too, because uh, I've already touched it with my hands and I ain't gonna reuse that. So, I'll just head on over here to the smoker. I want this cooked pretty good, so I'm gonna put it on the bottom. And uh, yeah, I got, got a wood chip in there, okay. Now then, we're gonna do this at 200 degrees. I'm gonna go about an hour and a half. took way too long but here we go so now that we're gonna let that smoke we're gonna get back with you shortly Obviously, it's not as um, light colored as a hog or whatever. Log, or hog is a really light colored meat. And uh, deer's already dark to start with, so you can just imagine the color it changes after you smoke it. Mm. Well, let's give that a try. Mm. Oh my goodness. Now, especially if you like juicy bacon. Oh, dang, that's good. Mmm. I hold it up to the light even. Oh, okay. All right, I'll let y'all watch me. Come on, how about that? Mm. Ah. Y'all have no idea how good that is. But get you some of that reconstructed bacon seasoning, get you a deer, and give that a try. I mean, if you kill a fat enough deer and you actually prioritize some of the belly and the fat, there's no telling what you'd end up with. This is some really good stuff. Anyways, hope y'all give it a try and hope y'all like the video. Oh my goodness. And in case you're wondering what it's like in the frying pan, um, I don't know. I never made it past this stage. As you can tell, I've ate everything but this last piece here. But yeah, anyways, okay, now that's the end of the video.